hello friends satyendr here and in this video let's create a symbol dimension with a tolerance value so here i am basically talking about these dimensions this is a symbol dimension with tolerance value i am talking about this dimension this is a symbol dimension with tolerance value here also you have symbol dimension with tolerance value and if i go to the drawing you can see the symbol dimension with tolerance value so if i double click this dimension this is a model driven dimension i can edit from here if i double click this this is also model driven dimension so these all are model driven dimension which i can edit here and i have the tolerance value now let's talk about the actual problem and then we'll see the solution and for that i'll close this erase this and once again i'll open the same drawing and part so this is my part now if i go to this feature and edit it i can see that i have a dimension with tolerance value if i select this dimension this dimension name is dimension a and if i go to flange 1 this is a dimension with tolerance value if i select this dimension this dimension is dimension b and this dimension is dimension c if i go to family table i have added dimension a b and c and some instances here now the problem is when i open my drawing this is my drawing i have that same family table here and these three dimensions now instead of this dimension value as dia 6 i need dia a this symbol somewhere here here c and here i want dimension b to represent these symbols now if i go to this feature and edit it and if i try to change this dimension from dimension value to symbol if i make it s it becomes symbol but the problem is the moment i make it symbol the tolerance will go if i go to flange and here also when i select this dimension and change it to add symbol the tolerance value is gone if i change this dimension to dimension symbol again the tolerance value is gone so this is the actual problem if you have a dimension with tolerance value then if you change it to symbol the tolerance value will go and if i open my drawing once again you can see here that the tolerance value of dimension a b and c is gone if i change the same dimension once again from symbol to dimension value at d once again the tolerance value will come back same thing here so now you can see this dimension it is coming with tolerance value and uh, if i open my drawing now you can see all the dimension with the tolerance value so this is the problem and our requirement is i must have a symbol dimension here with a tolerance value so that i can get i can get the same tolerance value with symbol dimension in my drawing now let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you now you understood the problem so let's find out the solution and for that i'll close this file once again and this file also erase it and i'll reopen the same part and drawing so this is my part let's open 
edit it. See, this is the dimension. I'll select this dimension. I'll change it from dimension to symbol. I'll leave it. Now, this is my symbol dimension. Same thing I'll do with this dimension. So I have changed all my three dimension from dimension value to the symbol. Now I'll open the drawing. So this is the drawing. So now there is no tolerance value coming with these dimensions. This is the model driven dimension. So when I double click, I can change the value from here. Now unfortunately, in Creo, we don't have an option where we can bring the symbol dimension with tolerance value. So whenever you change the dimension from dimension value to symbol, the tolerance value will go. So there is no direct way to get a symbol dimension with tolerance value. But there is an indirect way which will fulfill our requirement. So let's understand the procedure. So once you have created your part, you have added dimension with tolerance value just like this create your dimension with tolerance value just like this once it is done change it to symbol just like this the moment you change from dimension value to symbol your tolerance will go let it go so this way you create the dimension with tolerance and change it to symbol once it is done, create your drawing, place your family table just like this, your dimension just like this. Now you have your symbol dimension placed in your drawing. Now the next thing is how to get tolerance value with this symbol dimension. So the indirect way is place your dimension, select the dimension, go to dimension text and here you can use superscript text and subscript text to write the tolerance value. And for that, you always remember that uh, you need to start with add plus. This is for superscript text. Then uh, the tolerance value, tolerance value is plus 0 0.01 and close with add hash. So this is your superscript text. You can see here that you are getting the superscript text. Then again you start with at minus. This is for subscript text. So for superscript at plus and for subscript at minus. Then you write down your tolerance value point double zero and close with at hash. It is minus value. So add minus before your tolerance value. And that's it. Now your dimension is ready with your tolerance value. Now this is the model driven dimension with symbol. Same way I'll select this dimension. I'll go to dimension text and here I can directly use plus minus 0 0.01 and I have the tolerance value here. Select dimension B. Once again, write subscript and superscript. Start with add plus, this is for superscript, then positive value plus 0 0.00. Close with add hash. Once again, for negative value, start with add minus minus 0 0.01. Close with add hash. And that's it. Now you have your symbol dimension with tolerance value. So this was the easiest way to get your symbol dimension with tolerance value. And I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you believe that the video is helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe my channel for further updates.